Okay, so, um, it starts with, like, snow, and then, like, the title card comes up. You know, it says Eight Crazy Nights. I think it's a Happy Madison production, it says, and then it says Eight Crazy Nights. So, anyways, the narrator, um, is like, well, all right, look at all that beautiful white stuff in the air or on the ground. He says one of those. Um, he's like, he says this whole thing. I don't remember it all verbatim, verbatim, um, about Christmas and, at, and Hanukkah and stuff like that. And, uh, he's like little old town of Dukesbury. So that's where the story takes place. And we go to the, he says, um, he mentions the China dragon and he's like the China dragon where Davy is doing something so date we're intro we go into the china dragon and we're introduced to davy who is the uh adam sandler character davy stone and um he's drinking out of this big bowl and then um he like uh, uh the waiter comes by and gives him a uh, a check basically and the guy the waiter is like four scorpion bowl in five minutes that's got to be a restaurant record and then davy's like well i'm about to break another restaurant record longest burp so then he burps for a while he ends up causing uh people's like glasses to break on their face and then he leans towards the window as a homeless man's walking by and the homeless man gets scared from his like huge burp and then the waiter, once he's done burping, the waiter's like, congratulations. Now, please excuse me while I go take shower. So he leaves. And then um, there's a kid in the other booth that's like spying on Davy, like looking over. And Davy is holding the check and he rips it in half. Like he's not going to pay it, right? So then um, he uh, ends up getting up from his seat. And he pushes his hand on the kid who was like, like looking at Davy do stuff. And he goes, ow. And then Davy leaves. And the kid looks kind of upset. We cut to the outside of the China Dragon. And um, Davy busts open the door. And um, he ends up hitting a lady who like had a bunch of gifts in her hand. So, like, she ends up crying because all her stuff fell on the floor. Davy doesn't care. He keeps walking. But there's, like, some pedestrians who go to help her. Um, and Davy's walking towards his car. And at this point, the narrator is saying stuff again. Um, but I don't remember what he's saying. And so Davy goes to his car. And he tries to unlock it. But he's drunk. So he can't, like, get the key in the, the keyhole. And the cops are watching the whole time. So then the cops drive up and they're like, the cops say some stuff and they're like, I hope you weren't planning on driving tonight, Stone. And uh, Davey's like, he goes towards the officer's uh, car. He's like, oh no, you're, no, oh no, officer. I was just gonna walk home and enjoy the holiday decorations. And then he goes to his car and is like, now listen, sweetheart, daddy's got to leave now, but don't you worry. I'll be back first thing in the morning. Okay, the nighty night is how he says it. And then he beeps the car. Like he goes, beep, beep. Like that. And then Davy turns around and goes, all right, baby, well, let's make this quick. And then he goes up to his car and goes, oh, mama, you like it when I hold you like this? Because I'll do it all night long. Uh, he's like licking the car uh, so sweet uh, you're so precious and then he's like humping the back of the car and he's going Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. i love you car and one of the cops is disgusted but then the other cop is like crying as this is happening and then we hear off in the distance um the waiter from the china dragon going he dined and dashed me he's chewed and screwed me he sip and skipped me and then the cops are like what and then he says he no pay for his four scorpion bull and davy goes "Uh oh and then he runs away and the cops are like get back here you jerk 
he's running away and then Davy ends up snowboarding on like the lid of a trash can and he a song is starting it's our first musical number of the movie and it goes he's 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 snowboarding through town and it's it goes I'm the kind of guy who can't stand the holidays so I drink them all away that's me uh, and then as he says, I don't decorate no tree, he, um, he, like, gets these, like, Christmas lights and wraps them around people, I think, and then he goes, I don't decorate no trees, and I won't eat no potato luckies, so he ends up knocking a tray of potato latkes out of someone's hand, and then he goes, but I'll give these old ladies melons a squeeze, and he, we see the back of the woman, but he squeezes something, and we turn around to reveal that she was holding watermelons, and she goes, hey, and he goes, that's just who I am. And then he's still on the, the lid of the trash can. And then there are these kids playing dreidel. And he goes, well, I'll never spin a dreidel. And then as he says that, he interrupts and ruins their dreidel game. He, like, sur snowboards over it. And he's like, I'll never spin a dreidel, but I'll always throw an egg. And I'll Charlie horse her leg for laughs. So when he says that, when he says I'll always throw an egg, he throws an egg at a man coming out of a grocery store. And then the same man he snowboards around and he hits him in the back of the leg to give him a charlie horse and then he says while everyone's singing their holiday tunes i'm acting like the town buffoon and he's like he and he comes to like this tree where people are caroling and he's like snowboarding around and then he f he turn he turns his back to the carolers and pulls his pants down he's like I'm acting like the town buffoon, whipping out my big white scary moon. And the people go, oh, and he goes, and blowing a beef your way. And he farts in their face. And they're all like coughing and like, I think one lady faints or something. And then it goes to him. Uh, there's, there's a family watching some deer. He's like, I hate folks who think reindeer are cute. To me, they're just something to shoot. And he, like, throws a snowball to, like, scare the, the deer away. And the, the family looks upset at him. And he says, I hate love. I hate you. I hate me. And then, so he's still on the, the, the lid of the trash can. And he goes into someone's garage. And he steals their snowmobile. And he goes, well, I'm a snowmobile and stealing. No, tis the season feeling kind of guy and then you hear kind of guy this time of year sucks so i take my nunchucks and make sure every snowman dies so you, it's kind of self-explanatory he takes out nunchucks out of his like his jacket and he hits these sh snowmen and um like decapitates them and then we come to the community center or something i forget what it is and he's like um believing in santa's all wrong and he rips the beard off of a santa who's like you know asking a kid what he wants for christmas and the kid starts crying because it's revealed that he's not really santa he's like and then he goes in hanukkah's eight nights too long i hate love i hate you i hate me and as he's singing this, he crashes into this ice sculpture of both a menorah and a big Santa. And it comes tumbling down. And there's a bunch of people watching, including um, Jennifer, who's uh, the later love interest, with her son, Benjamin. And, it, and then it repeats like twice, I hate love, I hate you, so... And then the scene ends with someone yelling, Davy Stone, you're nothing but a delinquent. And then we're met with a, a gavel a bum, bum, in, in, a, in, a, in a courtroom. So we cut to the outside of the courtroom next day. And we hear the judge going, Stone, what the heck am I going to do with you? I've sent you to, and he lists different places he sent Davy. I don't remember what they are, but he's like, not one of those places has changed you for the better. And you used to be a good kid. Um, and then he mentions how he was like the star of like the basketball team. He's like, 
And then Davy goes, Your Honor, I still have a pretty good jump shot. Let me show you. And he takes a swig of his flask, and then he does like this little pathetic hop off the ground. And the court is just like everyone's shaking their heads and stuff. He's like, and then Davy goes, I can also hit a three pointer, but I'd have to drop my pants and pop my thumb up my boo boo. And everyone goes, oh, in the court. And then the judge goes, Stone, you've given me no choice. And then I forget what he says after this, but then this is the first time we meet Whitey. And Whitey interjects and goes, Your Honor, if it pleases the court, I'd like to interject for a moment. And then uh, the waiter from the China Dragon says, what the hell was that? Did I just hear a parakeet or am I going crazy? And then Whitey uh, walks out of the pews and he goes, no, 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 Mr. I think his name's Juan. Oh, Mr. I, I don't remember. But he's like, no, 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 Mr. Juan. It's me, Whitey Duval. And happy first night of Hanukkah to you. And Mr. Juan goes, I'm not Jewish. And then Whitey goes, neither am I, but that don't stop me from enjoying the holidays. And then the judge goes, Whitey, we've been over this already. You can't continue. I forget. Like, he basically can't continue refereeing that because he's like 70-something years old. And Whitey's like, no, 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 no. My interjection pertains to the current case under adjudication. You see, I knew this young man when his, like, moral fiber was still intact. And the judge goes, Whitey, what are you getting at? And he goes, why not have him be a, a referee for the youth uh, something basketball team? I've seen plenty of rowdy kids turn into um, fine gentlemen after spending time on my court, something like that. And um, the judge says something. He's like, oh yeah, if that happened with Stone, that would be a miracle. And then... Um, Whitey goes, well, it is the holidays and those types of things, those things that happen are known to happen around this time of year. And like it cuts to the crowd and they all kind of nod a little bit. And the judge goes, um, if you want to work with this guy or something, Whitey, then God bless you. But Mr. Stone, what Whitey says goes, and if I hear of one thing or something that you do, it, I'm sending you to 10 years at the state penitent or something like that. David goes, huh? And, and the judge goes, happy holidays, and hits his gavel. Whitey looks up at Davy smiling, and Davy goes, oh, God. And then the narrator says, a short man who's kind and a donkey's behind. Good luck, Whitey. You're going to need it. And then Whitey goes, all right, time to give the little man some support. And he's in the locker room, and he's pulling up his jock strap. And um, it's revealed that Whitey has very white, hairy ass cheeks. And Davy comes in at like the worst time to see him putting on his jock strap. And he goes, ugh. And Whitey pulls up the jock strap. And then Davy goes, geez and crow, did I just see two Persian cats up your ass? I think I'm going to barf. And as he says barf, he burps the word. And it's like a long burp. But not as long as when he was at the China Dragon. There's a very distinct two different burps you see um but it is a long burp just not as long as the one at the china dragon and um whitey goes your horn works try the lights and then he starts laughing and davy goes okay and then whitey starts doing knee touches because he can't bend down all the way and um davy goes i see you still got your circus feet and Whitey goes, men's 11 right foot, children's 9 left foot, at your service. And then Davy goes, yuck. And then Whitey goes, now I assume you've done your pregame stretching. And then Davy goes, no, let me do it right now. And then he starts flipping Whitey off. But every time he flips him off, he counts. So he goes, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then on six, Whitey interrupts and goes, Okay, that's good. But don't forget your hammies. And the narrator's like, of course Whitey wouldn't know what getting flipped off means. He thought Viagra was a big waterfall. And then the narrator explains to us that Whitey really wants to get the all-star patch, which is from the all-star banquet that they do every year. 
And Whitey says, I think it's going to be your year, Whitey. I really do. And he says this to a uh, voting box that has like a mirror or whatever that Whitey can see himself. But it's like, it says, this could be you or something like that. Like you could win the all-star patch. And it's like a voting box where you would put your vote in. <coughs> and so he says to himself, I think it's going to be your year, Whitey. I really do. And then... Davey comes in and he has like Timberland boots on and Whitey goes, whoa, 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 don't think you're gonna bring those hard soles on my court, pal, or something like that. And then Davey goes, fine, I'll just ref in my socks. And he kicks his boots off. One of them hits a light and the other one hits the back of the head of the guy who like is keeping score and stuff like that and his head falls on the buzzer that indicates that the game's starting so then Davy says it must be game time and Whitey gets a little upset but then he says don't let him push your buttons Whitey and he blows his whistle and then like the game starts and um so then we cut to the kids running across the court and each time they run to one side of the court Whitey is trailing behind kind of slowly and uh, he's like out of breath and that's like the joke you know that he keeps chasing the kids up and down the court and he's making like funny noises as he's doing it so then um, that happens three times and then we cut to one kid the fat kid he gets the ball and the other teammates are like, what are you doing? Put it up. And so the kid drib dribbles for a bit and he moves and then he trips and falls on his face. And it's a pretty bad fall, honestly. And Whitey comes over and he's like, what? No whistle on that ref? And then Davy goes, fine. And he blows his whistle. And then he says, foul on this kid for eating everything in sight. The ch and the fat kid's like, huh? And uh, Davey goes, uh, jelly jugs, next time you're on my court, you better wear a bra, okay? And the kid starts crying, and Whitey goes to comfort the, the fat kid, and he says, he's just kidding, son, you have very nice boobs. And the kid continues crying and runs away, and then you can hear people in the stands going, jerk, idiot! And then Davy goes, oh, you people don't like that? Then throw something at me, I dare you. And they go, with pleasure. And they start throwing shit at Davy. But the stuff is ending up on the on the court, you know, on the floor. And Whitey goes, they're scratching up my floor. Here comes the seizure. And then he, he throws himself on the floor and starts making really weird noises and twitching and rolling around. And then... You can kind of vaguely hear Whitey saying stuff like, don't be scared, something. And then, like, one of the kids on the basketball team goes, is he breakdancing? And then Davy blows his whistle again and says, all right, game over. No one wants to see an old man die. Fatty's team loses because I want to see him cry again. And then um, the kid continues crying into the arms of his fat mother and also fat dad. Um... And then Whitey says, I want to talk to you in my office while still having a seizure. And then we fade to the mall and Davy, we cut into the mall and Davy goes, why the hell are we at the mall? And Whitey says, because you need to clear your brain, pal. And to me, the mall is the best way to do that. And Davy goes, what's so good about it? And then Whitey goes, what's good about it? Everything. You need a pair of socks? My buddy, Mr. Footlocker, will warm your feet. Need a fancy doodad? Hello, Sharper Image. Thanks for the combination pogo stick clock radio. I mean, the body shop, the tie rack, GNC, Radio Shack, Petland for a cat or two, Spencer's Gifts for some fake dog do, Sabaro's Dunkin' Donuts, they're simply the best. And don't forget the orange chicken at Panda Express. But if you're short of cash like little old me, the window shopping's always free. And uh, just to explain... During the whole time he was saying that, we were cutting to the different locations that he was mentioning in his little, like, song or whatever you want to call it there. And Davy says, 
Is that something you prepared or did you just rhyme that many times in a row by accident? And Whitey has a moment and then he goes, yeah, that was weird, wasn't it? And David goes, maybe you are a leprechaun. And then we hear they walk away from Victoria's Secret because they were passing it. And you can hear Whitey say, let's get some snacks and chat. And uh, then we go into the Victoria's Secret to reveal that Jelly Jugs, as he is known, the boy, uh, the fat boy on the basketball team is putting on a bra. And then a woman comes into the dressing room and he goes, huh? And he covers himself like this. And she says, aren't you a boy? And then he starts crying again and he runs out of the Victoria's Secret dressing room. Then we cut to the food court and Whitey is talking to Davy about stuff. And I can't remember precisely what he says, but then I remember where he goes, it's about responsibility and teamwork. I've been doing my part for 35 years. Are you, or is it 45? One of those. And he says, are you ready to join me, big guy? And they're at a table at the food court and Davy picks up a, a basket of fries and he dumps them on the table. And the fries fell and spelled out the words, like, I think it was bite me. I think is what it said. And then um, Whitey goes, joke's on you, tough guy. I can't read. And he's very proud of himself. And then then comes out of the corner um, Jennifer. And she goes, special delivery for Whitey Duval, sugar-free donuts. And then Whitey goes, every day she does this for me. Or to me, Jennifer, you're too much. And he goes, my sister's a diabetic, and out of respect for her and her disease, I don't eat sugar products. And then Jennifer goes, there's a special surprise in there. I think you're going to like it. And Whitey goes, don't tell me it's Bavarian cream filled. And then he takes a bite, and he goes, it is Bavarian cream filled. Hubba bubba. These, these things make my taste buds go. He says something, and they go, for God's sake. And when he says that, it cuts to Jennifer looking at Davy, Davy looking up and going, ooh, and, and she like is like, ugh, and looks away. And then Whitey says, what are you doing hiding over there? Gesturing to Benjamin, her son. And she goes, um, Ben, why don't you show Whitey what you, what does she say? And he's like, I know Benjamin goes, hey, Whitey, I got another Hanukkah present tonight. And he's holding a Game Boy Advance. And Whitey goes, wow, Benjamin, an Etch-a-Sketch, not too shabby. And Davey goes, that's a Game Boy, you idiot. And then Whitey goes, oh, sorry, I'm not up for modern technology. But perhaps my friend Davey knows. Why don't you tell him what else you got? And then goes, first night, I got a pop tent and some a pop tent and some something to go to camp in the backyard then night two oh no, no no he says first night i got some something and some dreidels then night two i got a pop tent so i can camp in the backyard and tonight i got this gesturing to his game boy advance and then davy goes wow well maybe on night four the hanukkah monster will come and take a big crap on your bed and then Benjamin looks like confused and shocked and uh Jennifer goes thanks for sharing the holiday spirit psycho come on Benjamin you can help me clean the muffin trays and 